Um, so this is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, lecture three from chapter uh, four, CFIN seven. So uh, future value of annuity. So an annuity is a series of uh, equal payments made over equal intervals. So, so we have an ordinary annuity, which is the default for your calculator and for Excel. Uh, the vast majority of payments are made at the end of the period. So um, we have what's called an annuity due, which is payments made at the beginning of the period. So um, we'll show you how to do those calculations. Uh, one of the on your calculator, um, we'll show you how to convert to um, begin mode. Uh, it's very important when you do a calculation with begin mode that you switch your calculator back to the default, which is end mode. So, um, so the future value of an ordinary, a three-year ordinary annuity at 5%. Uh, with a timeline here, we're just uh, we're, uh, we've got payments at the end of the period, so um, you know, 400 times, so it's th year three is two years in the future, so it's 400 times one plus the rate on 1.05, and we square it uh, because it's two years in the future. And then the second year, we only have one year of interest to add, so that's... Uh, um, Oh, 400 times 1.05. So in the third year, it's just 400. So because it, that's when the calculation date is the end, end of year three, you add those up, uh, three up, and we get the future value of that annuity of $1,261. So we can also do it with an equation. So we're basically what we're doing is we're summing the uh, um, future value of all those payments, and the formula gets a little more complicated. But we still we're still using our same basic formula, one plus r to an n. So we take our payment and multiply it by one plus r to the n minus one divided by r. So the uh, r being the required rate of return. Uh, the uh, um, later on we'll get uh, so right now everything we're doing is annual compounding uh, in the f future we'll have um, uh, you know, uh, monthly semi-annual compounding and so forth and we'll need to uh, this will need to be the periodic rate but in this case it's uh, 400 our payment times 1.05 to the third power minus 1 divided by 0.05 and that equals $1,261 just like before. So in the calculator, so it's 3n, 5iy, so 3 years, interest rates 5. Uh, there, in this case, there is no present value. And we only have a payment, so we're five or four hundred dollar payments, so negative four hundred since it's we're uh, we're making and those are outflows, and then compute future value. So on the calculator, so we had uh, three n three years, the rate interest rates five, so five i y. There's no money in the account to start with, so zero PV, and then 400 plus minus, and that's the payment, and then we compute future value. Uh, and we get the $1,261 and uh, and no cents. So, um, so, um, so if we were calculating the uh, um, the future value of annuity due, we just need to add an an extra uh, an extra period of interest to all three cash flows. So at the um, 
at um, since we made them at the beginning of the year we're gonna so the first one that's 400 times 1.05 to the third power and the, the second cash flow moves forward here so it's 1.05 squared and then the 400 which was one multiplied basically by one is going to be we're going to earn interest for a year so so that since we're making those payments in the beginning of the year we're going to end up with more money and in this case it's thirteen hundred and twenty four dollars so the uh, equation solution so if we go down here we can ignore everything up there so we have an additional year of interest so we take our formula the payment multiplied by 1 plus r to the n minus 1 divided by r and we multiply that by 1 plus r and we can also take the $1,261 and multiply it by 1 plus r 1.05 and get a $1,324.05 so, uh, so the future value of annuity due this should there should be a decimal here the funny thing about this I've used three different versions of this text and this uh, this formula has not been corrected ever yet so uh, the, anyway uh, 400 times 1.05 minus 1 divided by 0.05 and we multiply that by 1.05 and we get $1324.05 so now on the calculator everything's the same we've already got this information in our calculator we just have to switch it to begin mode so the uh, so second begin is over here above the payment so you use the second key to access begin so second begin so it's in end mode second enter enter and you have to hit clear and compute future value and get thirteen hundred and twenty four dollars and five cents so the uh, so second begin second enter because you want to turn it back into end mode so. <clears throat> so next uh we'll start the next lecture with cash flow streams